going on everybody welcome back to out country if you are new here i am amber and welcome to our treasure hunting and reselling channel perfect Has anybody ever wondered what people do with the abandoned storage unit stuff that's just plain garbage that you can't make any money off of or not even worth donating? We do donate some stuff. Any cardboard, paper, broken furniture, all goes right here so that we can have a nice toasty bonfire. Yeah, so there's the donation pile for today. It's actually a pretty big pile, but there's a lot of blanket pillows and clothes that we just didn't really want to deal with. They all came out of storage units, so. We are gonna take this stuff today and get rid of it. Oh, hey, check this out. This, I got off the curb at the end of the season, or like right at the beginning of the spring, actually. I know it does something. Hold up. Oh, there's no batteries in it. Never mind. I did have batteries in it at one point. But it makes all sorts of different music and stuff. I thought that was pretty neat. Yeah, so these donations are just going to go down to Goodwill because it's easy, it's close, convenient. The next one that we are doing, we are donating everything to Coats for Kids. So all of our kids' old winter clothes, hats, jackets, you know, mittens, gloves, whatever, you know, anything a kid would need for the winter. We are going to be donating all of our stuff there and anything that comes out of a storage in, in the next month or so That's anything that has to do with kids winter stuff. It'll all be going there. What are your puppies doing? We're going to get the ball What up? Just giving her a quick scrub belt. I just got to do the seat and a quick wax job Where are you doing that now? Oh, so not ready to donate yet. Well, I guess let's go. Neon lights. I do want to see the neon lights. Was it? They come on when it turns on? Yeah, because it doesn't have a battery. So it looks like you'll be making us some snowmobile videos on our other channel. Yep, if we don't solve it. And if we do sell it, might get a different one stuff. So. Either way, probably end up making a couple snowmobiling videos. Whoop! I don't know if I saw that might not do any snowmobiling this year. Maybe not. Because it's not the time to buy them. No, it's not. It would be going against my own rule. It would be going against your own rules. Is there one toad or two? There's two. Yeah. And what's another one? Close. It's a big one. Close. It's all closed except for that one box. It's kind of like a miscellaneous. Well, the boxes can go. Yeah, I don't care about the boxes. I was just letting you know what was in there. How's it going, bud? Yeah. Um, closed mainly in the boxes. Um, but the totes, if you can just dump the totes. I think it's all closed, you said, in the totes? Yeah. All closed in the totes? And, uh, the totes? No, if you could dump the totes, that would be appreciated. We use them to bring donations and stuff. Okay. Sorry about that. I'll remember for next time. As I said, I don't know with this uh, Colvin stuff. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, they just have it for they can grab it and go. They don't need to uh, dump, dump it, it and put it back in. Gotcha. Yeah. No, and I understand that. Well, they were really cranky. Yeah, he was kind of a douche. He was kind of a douche. Well, that guy was douchey, but it's not going to stop me from shopping. <laughs> <laughs> I have 25 what? Kelly Moss. I am second. Why won't you be first? Right. That's what I was wondering. <laughs> well, that's a lot of Christmas PJs. I would be best. What do we got ugly. for ugly sweaters? Oh yeah, snap. Ugly hey, sweater. that's what I always say. Oh snap. Ugly sweater. Oh, that's a good ugly sweater. Yeah, of course. That is definitely. 
I wonder if people will be having ugly sweater parties this year. Oh, I don't know about that. Okay. Uh, this has got the one where you can hold your thing. <laughs> yeah. Just get a camo cozy. Mm-hmm. For your drink. How much are they selling them for? Nine bucks. Probably got another old snap for you. Oh, I like that one better. Oh, a snap. That's awesome. Christmas shawl. No. Wait, no, I do have a Christmas shawl. Yeah, I do. I have a Christmas shawl. The Polar Express, that's cool. I like that one. What you doing? I'm looking at goodies. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't break stuff. Stop the madness. Ooh, 750 piece puzzle. No. Yeah, I'm digging that. I like it. Uh huh. Yes, it is. It's not on. It don't work. <laughs> Error, you're too fat. So, question for the viewers, you guys. We want to make sure that we are giving you content that you enjoy. So hopefully you enjoy our sourcing videos. Hopefully you enjoy our hauls. Hopefully you enjoy our storage unit videos, which there's going to be some more of the, oh, I'm, I'm excited. There's some good stuff coming when it comes to storage unit videos. I'm telling you right now, they are going to be good. Next few weeks, watch for those videos. You're not going to want to miss. So hopefully you enjoy all of that stuff. But I did want to ask you, we are doing a complete remodel on our inventory room and office. Was that is that something that you guys would want to see? If you do, just smash this video a thumbs up or comment down below and let us know because I don't want to bore you with the remodel if that's not something that you want to see. Just kind of keep you updated on how it's going and show you our progress. Just let me know. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see how our inventory room goes from complete chaos to hopefully the best organized system that we can come up with. I gotta check out this room that I just opened up for some more inventory space. It's pretty cool. So this room actually used to be an old winery. Super old. And it's giving me my part of my new inventory space. You got that little guy up there. It's like a medieval kinda kind of room. It used to be a winery. That's why I got all the shelving that's crisscrossed with all the wine bottles more like medieval stuff but yeah so i gotta start on getting all my inventory up in here and i just thought this was a pretty cool room check out the, the light if i'm gonna work in here at all like on the computer or anything i'll have to get new light but pretty cool pretty cool and check out the awesome inventory got some christmas stuff going on y'all see anything you like Comment down below, send us an email, all sorts of goodies. And check it out. These are all filled with stamps. I mean, there's so many books here, I can't even count. This is the biggest stamp collection I've ever seen. This ain't even like a quarter of it. There's a lot more. Uh, we're just kind of waiting for the right time and talking to the right person because we know nothing about stamps. But so yeah, if y'all know anything about stamps or you know somebody who is a big collector, I mean, there is so many different types here. We got Austria, Finland, France, you know, and they're all, they're all labeled. So, so many. All right, guys, pretty cool stuff there. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure if you're not subscribed to hit the subscribe button and to turn on the all notification bell. So you don't miss any future videos. See you next time. Bye.